Hey, what is up, guys? Uh, we got the 2017 uh, pennies out there. The 2017 peas, you know, this is the first time they've ever done the mint mark uh, on the coin. They're starting to show up in circulation. People are starting to look for errors and things like that. And I just thought I'd show you some of the things that people are finding. Let me show you a couple of little photos we got here. Let's go to this one first. Uh, so far, these are just some, some of the photos that I've been uh, finding as I go through, you know, uh, the internet. Uh, people have spotted uh, cuds already. And as you know, cuds are small blobs or globs of metal that uh, just uh, the de the detail it just get, like gets stuck in like certain areas of the coins usually on the rims or like along an edge and it's just a, a small common type of error not usually too uh, valuable uh, unless you get something really huge the you know obviously the bigger the error the better so these smaller ones you're gonna find you'll find more of the smaller ones but uh definitely want to keep your eyes open for the bigger errors uh, here's another example right here of a cud, a little extra metal hanging to the the shield here. And you'll also see right here a die crack. And what happens is uh, die cracks are formed because of the intense pressure that the die is putting uh, on itself. You know, as it presses down into the metal, uh, as over time it, that, that hard metal becomes brittle and it does crack and the longer you use a die with a crack in it the bigger that crack is going to get now like what i said earlier you know a small crack probably not going to be too valuable but if they let it go and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger that's when they can become very valuable there are a lot of people that collect cuds and and these smaller cracks like this so it's definitely something you want to keep your eyes open for. Uh, here's another interesting error that uh, people are talking about. Uh, missing hair from Lincoln's head. Uh, so here is uh, the error coin up here and the normal coin right here. Uh, there's just the little details that are missing uh, in there. So that's something you might want to check out. I'm sure you'll find a lot more information on the net. That's what I usually do. That's how I find these. I just go online and I research. And that's what you guys should be doing as well. All right. Let's look at something else here. Here's another die crack. Now this one is on the top of the shield. And you can see it running right here. Going all the way down the shield and all the way through to the, the far left tip of the shield. It's a pretty big crack. No joke intended there. Uh, here is another example of a die crack uh, along the left side of the coin uh, on the obverse. It's pretty. That's a pretty nice size one as well. And like I say, that you know, the bigger the better. So definitely something you want to look out for. Here's a small cud on the E in cent. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that's a fairly small one. Like a, you know, like I said, bigger ones the better. Uh, here's an interesting one that I saw that I thought was really cool. It's kind of like a, the, I call it the Frankenstein stitch on uh, Lincoln's forehead. There's a small crack going through his forehead, and it's got some smaller lines going through it, too. So, to me, it kind of reminds me of stitches. It's pretty cool. I just thought that was a neat one to look for. Um, there's also been some rays uh, off of the shield going into the to the lettering. I'll show you an example of that one right here. I think this one's pretty cool. So you got from here on the shield, you can see the line going out towards the eye. That's a very common one, I guess. Uh, a lot of people are starting to find that one. Uh, here's a much larger one here going right in between the E and the R of America. So definitely something you want to keep your eyes open for. Um, and like I was saying, you know, on the cracks and things, you know, when they're minor, yeah, probably not, you know, you're probably going to get a, f a little bit more than face value for them, but there are, here's a, an example of an error of a die crack that is very famous, right? 
It's a, the 1888 O, uh, they call it the Scarface uh, dollar. And it's a Morgan dollar that had a crack that went all the way through the face. And it's very scarce, actually, in any, you know, any type of shape from from poor all the way up to MS+. Plus. So these are, you know, like I said, the those big ones like that, they are, they're really hard to find and they can command a premium. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. It gives you something to look for in the, the coming year of 2017. Make sure you give me a like, subscribe, share, and comment. We'll see you next time. Happy hunting.